friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API Development using Silt Authentication. Inside this video, we will understand about how to create a route group. If I back to editor, inside the last video, we had seen and understood all about the concept of route methods. Now this time, we will understand a concept that is how to create a route group. So first thing first, what is a route group? So a group of routes is known as a route group. So to understand this concept in a very clear way, let's go back to slide, open a new tab. For example, let's say that inside our application we have two modules called product module as well as a category module. So I'm going to write our API routes without using a route group or with using a route group. So the first case will be let's say case 1. Case 1 where we will not use any route group. So it will be without route group. So here let's say that our first route will be actually go and create some product inside table. So it will be something if I go here let's copy our product URL. So this will be something for add product. The route will be something our product URL. Next we have called add hyphen product. If I copy this route, put it here. Next let's say that for our update product API, the route will be something called our product URL and it will be something called update hyphen product. Now in the next API, this is number two. This is number three. So if we write here for delete product, our route will be something called delete hyphen product. So this is the case and once we write the other APIs for category module, here it will be number 4 and let's say that add category, let's copy, put it here, this is our fifth number route and it will be something let's say delete hyphen category. So we can see that here we have our API routes, these three routes of our product module and two of routes of category module. Here we didn't use any concept of route group. So while calling all these APIs, as simple as that, we need to copy this URL, go to Postman or browser and simply we need to hit that. And one more thing, inside each route, we are not clear that which route belongs to which module. Once we go inside this route here, then we can say that this is for our add product, this is for update product and this is for add category. There is no route specification. Now here comes the concept of a route group. So inside route group, what we do, actually we separate our API according to module wise. For example, here we have two different modules called a product module and a category module. So we'll separate all these routes into their route groups and the first group here will be product and the second will be category. So what I will do here, in terms let's say this is for the case 2, it means with a route group. Now next, what I will do, go here for this first API that is for add product and as we know that this is for the product module, so instead of adding all times product into a URL, I will create a prefix here. So before this URL, I will add product as a prefix here and then I will remove this hyphen product from here. Now if we look the prefix of this URL then we can say that this route actually belongs to product module. Now again go here, let's add a product prefix here, let's remove that, let's add product as a prefix, remove it here and this is for the category. So I will remove add a forward slash, this is for the category module, delete forward slash and this is for category module. So as we can see here from these URLs, now, now we are clear that that is first number out, second number out, third number out belongs to product module. And this fourth number and fifth number belongs to category module. Now how to register all these API routes inside our application will use a group method. Let's go here, go inside app, config, let's open routes.php routes.php and here 
first I'm going to create some routes without having a group so here let's say routes I will use first get method and let's add hyphen product for example let's say that it will call product controller and a method is something called add product actually this method will use post request type because by the help of this method the name suggests that we are going to post some data to our database now next let's say that list hyphen products it will call product controller and the method name will be let's say called list products if i go and create two more routes that is for our let's say list categories list categories and the method will be called list categories and for this routes let's say that it is calling a category controller category controller these two routes of product module and here I will add let's say for this category module let's copy this post method put it here and this will be something add category add category add category so as we can see that we have created two different set of routes first for the product module and second for the category module but these routes we have registered without creating a group now let's understand all about to create a group so what i will do go here let's say routes i will call group method as I told you that here we have two sets of route that is for the product module and category module. So what I will do, I will first create a product prefix, it means a product group. Then I will register some routes using our category module or a category group. So go here. So group name will be something called product. Next we'll have a callback function. Inside this function we'll pass our routes object and inside this function block then I will go and put all these routes and put it here now this time let's remove this product here or list having products now the same routes will work but this time our route registration process is too much simpler and very neat and clean if I will go and copy this put it here this is for the category I will cut all these routes, put it here, let's remove this categories from here, category from here. Now this time, this is also very neat and clean and it is showing that these two routes of category module. So while calling these routes, for this specific set, we need to add product as a prefix before calling our route and for the second set of routes we need to add category as a prefix so this concept is too much useful if we have the multiple modules inside our application in some cases you will see that inside a single application will have some a customer profile it means customer module seller module we have different types of admins and so on so in those cases we can implement our route registration processes using a route group so in the next video we'll see some more different concept so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day